you know, the first one got like 89, but every, one, every other one got under. And I don't agree with that. I like Rambo 2. It has its problems, but it's like one of the leading action movies of its, of its time. You know, look at everyone who copied that movie since, and, you know, there's, it's, it's pandemonium, because it's just like, it started this whole thing. And that year, there was nowhere you couldn't go without seeing Rambo, right? So, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it, I just think at the end of the day, everyone's going to see the movie differently anyway. Yeah, it's you all know? subjective. So, I don't really see a, a, a need for a tomato meter. You know, no, I think it's just. I think it's time has passed. How <laughs> many people say that? Like, oh, yeah, because I mean, it, even people I know personally, it's like Rotten Tomatoes says this. I'm like, you yeah. know, just who cares about Rotten Tomatoes? Again, yeah. same thing for IMDb. Like IMDb, okay, I'll use them. If I'm not sure about something, I'll search through IMDb. I'll search for a movie. But that's it. I mean, just. Mm -hmm. I don't trust IMDb either. Especially, the, I mean, the damn forms, uh, but I know that's another topic. Uh, but kind of the questions, I got a few questions here. Why can't we respect opinions? Well, that's it. Like, everyone has one. You would think that, you know, we could just get along. But I, don't, I just don't get it. I think everybody just wants to be right, you know? Everybody's like, they love these properties so much, and then... As soon as someone says something bad, you know, like I was saying about the other day, and like I even went back on it and I said, you know, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, that was not my intention. But uh, people take it way too seriously. Way yeah, I mean, too I, serious. I understand that people have a passion, but I mean, I, I guess a lot of it to do with social media and the power of the keyboard and that, you know, I can't be found, no one can touch me, no one can track me. Yeah. And, uh, so that's part of it too. Yeah. Again, I said before, and when I opened, you know, in the opening of this video, that there are certain franchises I love too that are not getting treated the way, you know, are getting treated wrong, like Ninja Turtles. I mean, we all. But I think, you know, we should respect others' opinions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People don't like Avengers too. I do, but you don't see me going after them with the, you know, going after them and. Having this vendetta, yeah, mob, mob mentality. Definitely, definitely. It's, uh, it's another uh, question. Are, are critics out of touch? Um, as people want to. Well, I think a lot of. I was to, when I was talking to David Morrell, for example, we we were talking about uh, new critics, new cinephiles, and stuff like that. And I'm with him when he says that he finds that people just don't know how to watch movies anymore. They don't know how to look for certain things in movies, you know, like certain, uh, I won't say foreshadows, but, you know, just ways of using the camera different to accentuate the past or the present or the future. Just little techniques that we used to use in cinema all the time that we don't use in cinema now. Listen to you a little bit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just uh, different techniques in uh, in the way that we used to use cinema or view cinema that we don't use today. So, I'm with him on that because I, I really find, like, I, I see a lot of people's reviews and people just jump on stuff like it's, like it's it's gangbusters, you know. It's, it's crazy. I really I really think that a lot of critics out there today don't know how to really take the time and use their their eye to really pick out what a movie is about. You know? Yeah. I mean, so, I don't, you know, so we're looking at the critics side, too. We're looking at both parties here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking the question, are critics out of touch? Uh, and, then into the next question, should we disregard critics? What, what was that? I lost you for a second. Uh, should we disregard critics? Um, well, sometimes, yeah. You know, if a, if a critic is just jumping on something with hate, you owe it to yourself to take your own look because sometimes that's personal. You know, sometimes it's not. 
if a critic doesn't like the movie because they have something, a personal grudge against the movie, then for sure they're going to usually write a bad review, right? So, I think, I think at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's just how you, how you perceive it. You know, if you want to pay that money to go see it, you know, really honestly, at the end of the day, it's, it's yourself you have to take into consideration, you know. Because, like, like I said before, everyone's going to see it differently. Every critic's going to see it differently. At the end of the day, you have to make up your own mind. And if it was a good experience, it was good. And if it's a bad experience, it was bad. But I, just, I, I see a lot of this thing today where it's just critics hating on people hating on, on movies, and vice versa, fans jumping on critics, and fans jumping on films, and it's, oh, it's insane, it's insane, you know, it, it's like, uh, when, it's like when you're a little kid in school, and you try to make, like, the best joke, and then the next kid jumps in, and kind of, like, tries to top you, and then the next kid jumps in, kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, are you getting superhero film fatigue? Is this something? And I'm asking guys that are watching out there too. Are you getting superhero film fatigue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <clears throat> like, like this movie, for example, like Batman vs Superman. It's just, it's such. It was such a, a wasted opportunity. You know, like we waited so long to see this, and it's just like they tried to jump the shark before you know anything else. And it just, it sucks because I, I, I think people should have seen this coming too because like bringing in the older Batman with a younger Superman, already they should have known it was off. And having Doomsday in the trailer, that was like the biggest red flag of all, you know? So, I don't know. This one was, uh, it just let me down. As a fan, personally, it let me down. And I felt bad that I paid a lot of money to go see that movie and it just it, it I just didn't agree with almost anything other than Ben Affleck I didn't agree with pretty much anything in that movie and Jeremy Irons was pretty good too I liked him yeah I mean and this both Marvel and DC yeah I'll be honest I'm getting superhero film fatigue um, I know people are going to say that oh it's going to keep going to like 2030 I'm like oh man and I just, yeah, I understand they make money. That's why they're going to keep doing it, and I don't blame them for doing it for keep pursuing that genre because I mean they just they do gangbusters no matter mm -hmm. what word of mouth. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what we say. But personally, yes, I'm getting superhero film fatigue. Uh, it's just yeah. it's wearing thin. It's wearing very thin. Yeah, for me, for DC, and it's sad because DC is my favorite comic property um it's sad because I can't link anything to anything else anymore like I can't I can't enjoy the TV shows because they don't fit into the movies I can't enjoy the movies because they don't fit into the comics nothing ties together uh there's no uh stepping between the small screen and the big screen and the books there's no there's no meld I think Marvel does that really well as they meld everything together. And that's what I like, you know, what I like about that. Um, like Civil War. I want to see Civil War because I really like what that director did with Captain America 2. Like, I really love how that movie, I love that whole movie. So, I'm excited to see that. But, like Suicide Squad, I, I really don't care. I don't, I don't really even want to see it, honestly. Especially now that they're saying that they're reshooting, like, a bunch of more scenes to make it more fun, which is uh, either the truth or a lie, you know, <laughs> to make it more fun because it's boring, or it's just an outright lie that they have to reshoot because it's, it's not well, going it's, very well. it seems well. right. It's like a Deadpool. Look how much success that film made mm -hmm. on, our, on our rating. I, I can believe that they want to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know fans are going to get mad, but I'll share more thoughts on that, because I'll definitely get to that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people, too, instead of, I mean, why is it that instead of defending what you like, why do you sling insults? Why do you stalk and troll and mm -hmm. snarl, you know, use snarl words? Mm -hmm. Why? 
Why can't we just defend what we like? Yeah. I'm tired of this too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for me, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up a book now. You know, like I'll read. I'm a big reader. and Like in the past couple of years, I don't know what happened to me, but I used to hate to read it now. Now I just love reading. Like, I just... Uh, I don't know what it is, but... I'd rather read a book than watch a movie these days. Yeah, it seems like, I mean... I mean, hell, they're making the killing joke now, so that's something else we'll talk about, because I look forward to that. I look forward yeah. to that more than I do another yeah. Zack Snyder fan fiction, but I know uh, this is about fan, fans and critics have uh, talked about Ben vs. Superman's and nauseum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but... Also, too, why rail against a, mo a review of a movie you haven't seen yet? I've seen this a lot, too, in social media, that fans love to hear when a movie they're excited for about is good. But for some reason, this is the only time that some readers like to hear from critics. Mm -hmm. Someone who hasn't seen the movie can't make a real case why a movie is good. Yet mm -hmm. Twitter and comment sections are riddled with toxic remarks. Yeah. Well, as far as I mean, Suicide just, Squad is... Is, is concerned. I'm just going on intuition because, you know, they let me down the last two times in a row. Actually, three or four times, so I don't know. I just don't, I don't believe in this one. There's so many, there's so many things that don't make sense to me about that movie. Um, so I guess I am kind of guilty of that too, but um, it's just, I don't trust it. You know, I just have that intuition not to trust it. But, uh, yeah. It's like I want to like these movies. I really do. You know, like, the anime with Killing Joke, for example. I want to I wanna love that movie. And I think only one time out of maybe a bunch of the last movies I saw by, like, the animated DC universe that only one time that they really let me down was the uh, Superman Doomsday. That was the only one I didn't like. Every Which is ironic, because that's my favorite storyline. But, um... They didn't really do that when any justice. But when I look at these other great films, you know, like, um, um, oh, what the hell is it called? So it was the Darwin Cook one, um, fuck, uh, Final Frontier, New Frontier. Like, that's such a great movie. Like, that is such a, I just don't, I don't know why the big name directors in Hollywood can't take a page from that. You know, like, I don't know why they... It seems like they want to take a page from everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, one page from this book, one page from that book. <laughs> yeah. And put it in the damn blender. Yeah. It's Ugh. like... Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go, go for it. I was just... I, say I was just sighing from sadness. That... <laughs> <laughs> it's like they take a page from this story and take a page from that story. You know, the doomsday and... I'm yeah. like, it, they put it in the damn blender. It seems like a lot of filmmakers want to do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you got Civil War, for example. I mean, didn't Spider-Man die in that story? I don't remember. Uh, but... Oh, no, it's Captain America died, didn't he? I'm not sure. I haven't read Spider it. Spider-Man got unmasked. He uh, unmasked himself, I think. But... I, no, people also want to say that uh, that bias, oh, it's bias. I'm like, where does this assumption of bias come from? And anything, we're all biased. Yeah. We're a collection of biases. I mean, the general audience is biased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. 